So this is the landscape that I drew out earlier and we're going to have a look at how we can add um, texture to it using watercolour or colour pencils. So watercolour is controlled with the amount of water that you use. Watercolour needs to work in layers and it needs to work with the colour wheel. Using the brush on the side slightly, just letting it um, squash slightly down onto the paper. And it's important that you let the watercolour do the work, otherwise you end up uh, putting too much pressure and too much water onto the paper. So just drag your brush across, introduce areas of light and dark, as you would see naturally when you look across a field, you'd see areas where, where there are light patches and dark patches. So the minute you can see that I've put on my watercolour um, quite flat in one direction um, and that's so I can let that dry before I add any more texture to it. Now I'm going to let that dry for a little bit just so that I can then add a cover over the top and then I'm going to look at how to do some colour pencil on this side. Um, I'm going to use a range of colour pencils here. What we need to be thinking about is how we're going to get the texture. Now, I'm going to start with just a flat colour over everything. So I'm going to pick something that's quite light to start with. And I'm going to make sure I follow the curve of my landscape. Okay, so at the moment you can see how I've built up the layers of colour. So don't press very hard and build them up, that way the colour pencil can overlap and interact with itself. So what I need to do now is get some texture onto there really. So I'm going to start thinking about how I'm going to show a grass texture. What you'd expect to see is that the closer you are to something you can see it better and over here you're probably not going to need to see it as well so i'm going to concentrate on down here grass texture i want to be really doing sort of flicks um keeping it close together and building it up notice how i'm putting each um texture separately so i'm not scribbling i'm not doing this each flick of grass separately. Now further back I am doing little scribble marks because I want them to be smaller and less um, obvious, maybe just suggestions here and there rather than uh, massive grass marks. So how you change your um, marks really does help with the texture. So my watercolour is dry for the base now um, and what I'm going to do is just show you how to use a watercolour to add texture. I'm going to use my brush to create flick marks. 